if you are feeling like pulled in a lot of different directions, you have, you know, you want to do a webinar, you want to do this uh, launch a group program, you want to make videos, you want, and you're already doing a lot besides the ambitions that you have that, and you, it's a good awareness that you probably are putting too much pressure on yourself that you, you should do these things. And um, so here's, here's the thing I always remind myself is that everything, everything that I want to do can and will be done as long as I make time for it. And the time I make for it doesn't have to be this week. Doesn't have to be this month also. And I can also make time for something that is just 15 minutes a week. It won't be as satisfying, but if touching it in for 15 minutes a week. Oh, I want to create a group program. Okay. I, I've been saying this for three years or whatever, three months. Okay. Am I able to take 15 minutes a week, five minutes a week, 15 minutes, probably more realistic to go to chat GPT and brainstorm. Hey, chat GPT. I have some, some of these program ideas. Can you serve as a, can you ask me one question per turn to help me flesh this out? You know, to have a buddy, buddy, or to talk to a human buddy about it 15 minutes a week, right? You get together with a human buddy. Hey, can we do 30 minutes a week just with each other? And 15 minutes a week, I'm going to uh, tell you about or work on, um, you know, uh, if, if it's silent working, you can both work for, for half an hour. But if it's like, hey, let me talk this through so I can feel like I'm making progress on it, right? So everything can be done if you just give it some set amount of time knowing that hey you know what my webinar i want to do well i guess it's going to be next quarter it's going to be next month two months from now or i'm going to take 15 minutes a week to work on some kind of webinar or 15 minutes a week to work on either the group program or the webinar i literally have a half hour slot in my calendar every week called service and marketing improvements. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous because in that half hour a week, you know what I do? I, I go, oh, service and marketing improvements. Okay, time is here for that. I go to my to-do list of service and marketing improvements, which is like a thousand ideas, right? And I go, all right, today, this week, right now, let me pick from, I'm just going to scroll two scrolls. And is there any idea among these thousand that I feel alive about right now? Oh, you know what? That idea, that software I've been trying to look at or that... Um, program I've been trying to launch. Let me let me spend the next twenty minutes. You know, I'd spend ten minutes looking at my things, and let me spend twenty minutes thinking about. Well, how might I plan that then? How might I plan some more time for this? Is it possible? Let me look at my calendar. Okay. Well, it looks like this week there's no way. Next week there's no way. But maybe the third week from now I can plan another half hour to work on this thing. So really, it's that kind of thing for me. And then finally, I'll say this because it's getting a little bit too long here, and you have other things to do. Um, the last thing that I kind of calm myself with is the big, 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 big picture. Not only can we do everything and it doesn't have to all be done the same time. It's impossible to do it all at the same time in this lifetime anyway. Um, it might not all have to be done the same year. Something can be done the second, the next year. For example, I have this, literally I have this group program. I'm so excited to start with you all. I'm like, I'm already running three group programs. I probably shouldn't launch a fourth one right now. So it's going to be 2024. So I'm making myself patient to say this group program, I'm really excited on mastery is going to happen 2024. So I've already calmed myself to say, no, it's going to happen. I'm going to stay excited about what I'm doing now. And I'm going to look forward just like when you plan a vacation, right? Like, oh, you part of the joy is like the, the looking forward to something. I get to look forward to this right? Part of that joy. So, and then finally, not this year, not this lifetime, maybe like in the, to me, this is what makes me feel really, really calm. Like in the lifetime of my soul, which is eternity, in my opinion, um, there are, I will do everything. I will get to do all of it. One soul lifetime at a time. I'll get to enjoy all of it. Uh, so with that, hopefully you can sleep better at night and hopefully you have some way of um, practicing an evening ritual that reminds you 
that all of it can and will be enjoyed in your uh, in your life or in the eternity of your soul. So I hope this is helpful in some way. And if you have any tips for others who are also feeling pressured about so many things to do, please comment below because your perspective will be helpful for others as well.